Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. So today I figured I would review a Kung Fu movie. Of course, it's obscured, it's low budget, so here we are. It's a blast from the past. Yes, sorry. I haven't reviewed one of these titles in a good while anyway, so I just thought, eh, here it is, I guess. So anyway, of course, there's something from way long ago. I like, I like this genre anyway, to begin with, so it's not a blog for me at all. So I'm reviewing the film Point the Thing of Death, which was also titled as this, then again, only re-retitled as this as well. Which is weird, because why does it have to be titled more than that? What? Well, why? It just makes it more confusing for those who don't know. Yeah, it just makes it more complicated. So for anyone who doesn't know any better, they'll be thinking that this is separate movies when you think about it, but okay, whatever. I gotta make it confusing, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Let's talk about the plot, shall we? So here we go, I reckon. So yeah, the plot pretty much centers around this secret society that pretty much attempt that wants to attempt to overthrow the Ding Dynasty and assume its mean power. So this this organization that pretty much wants to gain the support of righteous martial clans. Of course, these martial artists, but the current government has its own plans of trying to stop the rebellion of course so we see the main character named jimmy he's the original one armed swordsman as a part of this group to pretty much go through this kind of thing the struggle of course and yes we're trying to do his thing obviously so let's just say that there's quite a bit of of course, struggle for a main character, of course. Yeah, within about 20 minutes, or I should say less than that, maybe about 10 minutes, we already know what this movie's going to be about. Right away, we can see what's going to happen, of course. It gets pretty damn chaotic, as you might expect when it comes to these types of movies, as they should, of course. So, yes. So, we see that our main character, he's, he's up to, to do what he's supposed to, of course. But anyway... The story itself is pretty straightforward when you think about it. Of course, our main character, he has to do what he feels is right, as you might expect, because that's what he's going to do here. And he doesn't defeat the, the bad people. The bad people in this movie, they're up to no good. They're just really bad individuals that need to be dealt with, of course. You can't be acting like a damn dictator and, give, or, or, and think you're going to always get what you want. So there's that. So, yeah, there's also this... Kind of thing, of course, when it comes to this, uh, this main character, of course, he wants to pretty much be this. He's the central central figure here, of course, and trying to use his kind of uh, this kind of thing to pretty much do what he wants, of course. And like I said, it's pretty much straightforward. That's what you might expect when it comes to these types of movies, of course. And the thing is that, yes, the plot is. Fairly straightforward, like I was saying. I did like the fight scenes. Of course, I have to mention the fight scenes themselves. The fight scenes aren't too shabby on, on what they were trying to aim for. I, def I liked how that they were choreographed in this movie. Which, yes, I know it's something I've mentioned before in numerous times in previous videos when it comes to this genre, obviously. And I did like that. I did like how they were trying to aim for this kind of a thing, of course. The fight scenes are pretty nice to look at. I do like it's not edited like every two seconds, which, yes, I realize I mentioned this before. The location scenes in this movie were nicely done as well. The location scenes were pretty nicely done as a whole. Because, yes, even though it's low budget, sure, but it's still nicely choreographed nonetheless. So I'll give it that. And I did think that that's definitely a good thing. Just because it's low budget does not mean you, ha you have to make an excuse of it, of course. But anyhow. Would I recommend this? Yeah, of course I would recommend this. This is, by the way, the... Yeah, that's the thing, though. I don't want to really cover the... What do you call it, the dub versions? Because usually they have stuff cut out when it comes to foreign films anyway. A lot of the foreign films I've covered before have stuff removed. This goes, of course, into the same thing with TV shows as well. They do the same thing with, like, anime or what have you. They, they do that for whatever reason. I'm, I'm confused here. But anyway... Well, this version, of course, is subtitled, obviously. It gives me an excuse to talk about something Asian-related, I guess, something that's foreign from a different country. 
which I actually don't mind, really. To be honest with you, I, I do this kind of thing very often before. But yeah, I just think that this is pretty much is something that's pretty wild in its own little way. Of course, I would recommend it because I do think that it's has its moments, or definitely it has its moments, of course, throughout the entire thing. And I do think that this film is attempting to have, have some kind of excitement, which it does. Oh, yeah. But anyway, it's entertaining in its own little way. Like, it's really cool, of course. And I do think that this the, a movie could be bo- definitely worth watching. If you're somebody that likes Kung Fu and whatnot, if you're somebody that wants to see something much or art, some crazy stuff going on, then it is several, definitely something I would definitely recommend. Because when it comes to these types of movies, they could be entertaining, of course, when, it's, when they're done right, of course. Anyway... Of course, he's going to center on this character. Of course, find his way to put us to justice, I suppose, because he feels like he he must do this thing, fight fight against this corrupt individual, who is like an official or whatever. And of course, we're going to see the final boss of the end being difficult. Of course, really hard to fight. Of course, and there's going to be numerous fights before this. Of course, taking place in various locations, as you might expect when you come to these types of movies, obviously. That's fine. It's part of the story and everything. That, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that, really. Don't think about it. Anywho, but yeah, like I was saying, I just figured I'd just talk about this because I haven't reviewed one of these types of movies in a while. Matter of fact, I haven't reviewed a foreign film in a while. Anyway, I'm the thing about it. Anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.0 out of 10. It's a 7.0 out of 10 for me. Thanks for watching. See you.